What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Auto 3 Garage. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the garage. You have a spot. As you can see, on tonight, we are working on the boosted Tahoe turbo truck, whatever you want to call it. Uh, today's objective is to uh, get these uh, heater hoses connected um, and probably mess with the computer um, wiring uh, for the new transmission that's going to come in, which is the 4L80. Just have to uh, switch some wires around on uh, the blue and green connector and then uh, down at the plug itself. But first thing first, like I said, I'm going to start with this heater hose. Um, we're going to do away with this tank. Uh, we're going to use a filler neck, which is going to be probably about in this area and just have like an overflow um, tank somewhere. And uh, let me know if y'all going to, would y'all run like an oil catch can uh, on this setup or not. Uh, what I was thinking about just having um, each cylinder head like vented off like uh, on the back side and uh, take this tube off and just have it vented uh, out into the atmosphere. Uh, I was thinking about doing an oil catch can. If I do, I want to put it like probably somewhere in this area. I had the lines going uh, neat to where it needed to go at. Uh, also, I need to do this oil line, but I might not mess with it tonight, so I don't know. Uh, but anyway... Uh, let's get this heater hose cut. We got some cutters right here and um, tighten these two bad boys up. And then I want to uh, bolt down this uh, fan uh, housing right here. As y'all can see, it's pretty loose still. So let's go. So as you guys, you can see I got the hose neatly routed. Finna tighten these up. All right, guys, so now I'm about to make a bracket. Uh, for this hole right here that mount the fan shroud and uh, this other side too. So let's get to it. And I got that all bolted up and looking on too. So guys, this is the small little bracket. Kind of had to trim the uh, corner piece, but I did test fitted it. So um, hopefully, properly, we got it scented. But yeah, and I also used the flat wheel on it so. so guys i decided to paint these brackets okay guys so while we under the vehicle and uh while we let them uh two little brackets uh get painted uh i'm gonna we re rewire uh one of these wires, uh, two of these wires are gonna go to a pigtail that I'm waiting to come in and it's gonna go to the input sensor uh, on the 4L80E as you can see in the 4L60E. I think only have it output if I'm mistaken. That one's have the input and output. So, uh, let me get this off. So guys, with this connector, all we gotta do is remove this brown uh, antenna black wire and this white wire. This brown wire is gonna go where that white wire at and then this white uh, antenna black, well, antenna brown wire is gonna go to the input sensor on the 4 ae and that would be it uh, down here. And then we'll move up to the top. And guys, all you need is a flathead screwdriver to uh, pop uh, the other side up, be careful. Um, and yeah, so all I'm gonna do is uh, remove this top right here. I can uh, do it with one hand, got it removed, and then we're just gonna push uh, the pins that we need out, and then we're just gonna push the other one back in and go from there. So, guys, I got all three of the wires that we need out, as you can see, the white, the black, well. The black and uh, tan with the brown uh, and also you got these like little tabs you're gonna have to depress in order to uh, remove the pan out so let's get to it all right guys so we're gonna leave um, this sitting like this until our stuff come in I'm waiting for the um, input um, sensor um, the pigtail basically so we can uh, hook these two up um, like I said we basically moved the brown wire to the S where the white wire was originally at now we just got to go up top to the pcm and we should be done up that way 
um, with the PCM that's all we should be able to have to do so uh, once that's it that's pretty much it guys and um, for the next video uh, we're probably gonna be removing um, that flywheel and uh, probably uh, doing uh, a new rear uh, rear uh, main seal so I'm gonna look up how to do all that I'm pretty sure it ain't rocket science but we need a, uh, a, um, a flex plate. Um, that's pretty much it. So, yeah. So, guys, we up top. Um, I'm going to remove uh, this white wire, which is uh, the blue connector. Um, number 79. And we're going to put it on the green one, uh, spot 22. Um, if you have like a, a O2 model and below your connector might be red, but it's still gonna be like the same, uh, same number concept. All right, so guys, we got uh, two brackets or two plates that I put on each side. And man, this thing is stout, ain't going nowhere. Really sturdy, as y'all can see, I painted it. Let me show y'all the other side. Get try to get up here. Y'all see it? I look better though. And I also put all this back. I'm gonna retape everything neatly. Um, and I'm gonna put the PCM back uh, sometime. But it's right now, I'm gonna just leave it like this. And once I do get the PCM in, I'm just see what I want to mount that little piece right here. I might come up with a bracket or something and uh screw down so next what i'm finna do and guys i got all my whole area straight and i'm planning on getting like a new toolbox um yeah but anyway we finna remove these two fittings right here i'm thinking about going um with the at the market um oil cooler with a fan uh, for this transmission but anyway we're gonna take this out and we're gonna put the ict billet um ones that i purchased on here so let's get to it so guys we got the ict billet it also come with a um o-ring so yeah let's get it on so guys this is the comparison uh the long one going the back and the short one going the front um, so right now I'm going to screw this bad boy in right here. And I don't even think we got to screw it in uh, uh, tight or nothing either. Because the old ring going to make the uh, seal. Right now I'm just finger tightening it. As you can see. And this is a 6AN. Like I said, I'm going to um, get a cooler. Let me know if I should mount the cooler in the back, like underneath. Or should I like try to put it like towards the front, like somewhere up here? I might not do that. I thought about putting it like in this area and like having the fan like facing down or some shit like that, some cool crap like that. But well, I'm not sure. Y'all let me know. And then look clean in there too. And put this one, I'm gonna throw that one on right here. All right, guys, and I'm going to tighten her down, and that's going to be pretty much it, y'all. So, guys, we got the new ones on, the 6 a.m., and uh, I'm going to probably just keep these just on the side. Um, and I think that's going to be pretty much it. The uh, only thing I might end up doing is um, changing the 4060 shift uh, selector or whatever you want to call it. And then uh, putting it on here, and then I wait for the bracket. Uh, that's for the four eighty to come in, and I should, I should do. Um, yeah, I should do. But anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I'm gonna do a close out real quick. Uh, Y'all bear with me. 
So guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope y'all learned something. Uh, wasn't too detailed, but uh, it just gave y'all a general idea if you're going to do this uh, to your truck. I hope y'all have a good one. Uh, stay safe. And man, I can't wait till I get this truck done uh, one step at a time. Um, but y'all will witness it. And I can see it right now. And fingers crossed on the 480E. Uh, uh, I know it is pretty good and all that. And I think that's just pretty much it. Uh, like I said, if y'all new, subscribe. If you return it, make sure to share, like, and comment. Uh, any tips or anything, let me know. Uh, and that will be pretty much it. So appreciate y'all guys. See y'all.